Hey guys, Brad from Team Crimson here, and today we're doing meta-analysis. Was Bermuda enough to knock out the Tier 0 format that we were in? Let's find out. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the meta analysis for Extra Booster 15, Twinkle Melody. Um, that is the Bermuda set. Um, and uh, in many ways, it's one of the last actual sets um, for the game. Uh, at least until Overdress comes out. So, uh, But let's go ahead and get into the top five. I'll explain a little bit about why some of these decks are topping. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, I believe you'll get the picture. Okay, so starting with number five. Uh, number five, surprisingly, um, and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit, but is Genesis, the Astral Poet build. Um, the Astral Poet build um, has always, uh, you know, had had some issues. It's quite powerful, um, but uh, consistency has always been a big issue with that deck. Um, consistency... Uh, uh, has uh, they they brought out a couple of cards that helped the consistency of the deck in the set, um, especially the the dragon the I don't know how to pronounce its name Eo Eosinesis Eosinesis <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, dragon the new uh, VR of the set um, it is quite good. Um, and it it helps make the deck a little bit more consistent. It also uh, becomes its own acting PG, um, so that's quite nice as well. Um, and then uh, obviously, uh, just what Astral Poets do best: uh, restanding Valkyrian uh, through the abilities of Uranus. Um, that is quite nice. Um, but yeah, that's basically about it. It's just kind of uh, it can still brick. It can still brick pretty hard. But um, that's obviously why it's not up there. It's just doing uh, a lot better than I think a lot of us gave it credit for. Uh, so it's a little surprising. Uh, and then let's get into the boring top four. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's, that's just what it is. Uh, the top four, Bermuda Triangle. Uh, number four, Bermuda Triangle, the Vert deck especially. Um, Vert uh, is able to gain an additional drive check. Uh, it has multi-attack. Um, by putting cards uh, from rear guard circle back into hand, and then superior calling them back out to superior calling cards back out to field, um, and then it has uh, that's also gives them the ability to gain access to on place abilities all over again, uh, and then the deck uh, deck does still seem to be lacking a little bit, still seems to have some issues, but uh, otherwise overall it's pretty solid. And again, that's why it's performing so well, and because it's Bermuda. Um, number three spot, also Bermuda Triangle, uh, Lupina. Uh, Lupina's uh, cost, uh, Soul Blast 2 cost to call out a unit, uh, create a force, extra force marker, uh, and it also uh, has the ability to multi attack uh, and uh, buff columns with markers. Um, it's just uh it's it's a very very threatening deck um but uh but no it's 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 quite good but let's get into uh the number two spot number two is bermuda triangle melody we can talk about that a little bit more um so it is star on stage um uh, it gains all of the melody uh skills melody unit skills um so that's already quite good in, uh, in and of itself uh, but then being able to draw cards uh, and then being able to gain all of the markers. So not only can you create more force marker, you can uh, create an Excel 2 uh, and you can create a Protect 1 and get them all to your hand. Um, or get that to your hand, get the plus off the Excel 2 and you have an additional rear guard slot now uh, in Bermuda. So uh, yeah, um, but it's quite good. Melody has uh, had some good units I think they had some good units before, I want to say, but I could be mistaken about that. Um, but uh, no, this is 
all of this new stuff uh, makes it quite deadly. But at the number one spot, and still uh, showing to be a tier zero format, uh, is Gold Powder and Gurgwit. Um, it's, uh, it's not a very, it's a very significant margin. I try not to use the tier zero format too lightly, but it is, you gotta call it by what it is. Um, if I believe if I, I believe, uh, I don't have it written down here, but, um, I believe Gurgowit had 29 or 30 wins. The next closest was, uh, the Melody Deck, the Melody Deck, um, of Bermuda, and that was at 12 or 13. Um, so it's not close. It's not a close margin. Uh, if you're not playing Gurgowit, you're not winning the game. Uh, Gurgowit is able to do nine plus attacks. I, I like to say nine plus. I've seen it, you know, it does, it can do eight, but very, very, uh, more often than not, I guess I'll say is, uh, it's going to be doing nine attacks. Uh, so doing those nine attacks, all of them are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty buff, at least, uh, in the high twenties usually. Um, and then, uh, they're, can get up to 40 even more. Um, but they're able to do that all while plussing and all while um, you can still use Gurgwit's defensive ability. Um, it's just an insanely stupid deck. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. Uh, I don't like tier zero formats. I don't think anyone does. If you do, you have a problem um, and you don't like the health of your card game. Um, that's, that's why I think... Uh, us, us here at Team Crimson are experiencing some burnout. Um, I, I know that that's been a thing um, in the Vanguard community, um, even at our locals for quite a while. Um, just the direction the, of the game and the direction that it's headed, and it just seems to be getting worse. Um, and the fact that Bushy hasn't had the balls, um, I, I will say that they do not have the balls to actually handle the situation. Um, uh, and it seems like it's going to just keep going like this. Um, at least if Overdress is a reboot, um, of some sort or, or whatever, um, we will still have this tier zero format all the way until then. Um, and it's looking like the clan selection sets, volume one and two, everything out of that's just kind of mundane. Um, there hasn't been anything that's super uh, meta-defining or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, as of right now, it looks like this is your meta for the next several months until Overdress comes out. So, enjoy. Uh, or just switch to Digimon like a lot of people are doing. Um, <laughs> It's terrible, but it's true. Bushy, you should get a, held, uh, a hold of your own game. You're losing players. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it, guys, for the meta analysis. I know it's dark and grim. I uh, that's just I'm blunt. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, uh, but uh, please join us. We're gonna be doing some more videos as well. Uh, I know uh, Deacon's gonna be posting his deck profile for his tier zero Gurgwit deck. Um, and then so uh, is uh, No Skill Required Javier. He's going to be posting his deck profile for uh, Dragonic Vanquisher, I believe, um, sometime soon. And then we're also going to be doing a Crimson Debate, talking about the very subject that I was just bringing up, um, the possible um, death knell of Vanguard. But uh, yeah, so those are some little teasers. But uh, yeah, please pay attention to our channel um, in the coming week. Uh, we'll be posting those videos. And uh, let us know in the comments section what you think. What are your thoughts? Do you like the Tier 0 format? Do you like the degeneracy of the game and the state that it's in right now? Um, no judgment from me. Uh, if you like that, you like that. That's fine. Um, uh, but yeah, no, just let us know in the comments section what you think. Your thoughts uh what you're planning on doing i'd like to hear from you that's it for me bye